Smolly Wave Springs reduce spring heights by up to 50%. Our Spiralox retaining rings have no ears to interfere with an assembly. Over 10,000 standard parts are stocked in carbon and stainless steel with samples readily available to test in your application. This week in Engineering Newswire, we're taking a trip out of this atmosphere, racing a 3D printed car and saying yes to driverless cars. This episode is brought to you by Smalley Steel Ring Company, the exclusive manufacturer of Spiralox retaining rings and Smalley Wave Springs for more than 50 years. Request samples to try in your application today. Instead of offering a jarring, rocket-powered blast into the cosmos, Zero to Infinity hopes to offer a slow and steady ascent onboard a balloon. An intimate six-person pod attached to a zero-pressure polyethylene helium balloon. It's a system that will, in theory, safely elevate humans to near space, above 99.5% of the mass of the atmosphere. The company recently performed a test launch of Microbloon 2.0, a half-scaled prototype. Unfortunately, this test didn't make it off the ground after damage from a wind gust was detected on, a balloon, on the balloon envelope. In June, Zero to Infinity launched an 11 meter diameter latex balloon from Spain as part of its hardware test. On board the helium filled vessel was a spherical camera that recorded the flight with a 360 degree view. The flight rose up 25 kilometers in nearly two hours as the team tracked it via GPS. And the flight was successful and all the equipment worked as expected. You can even experience the 360 degrees of the flight on the company's website. The next flight is scheduled for the end of October and will test all of Microbloon's subsystems. Let's get that balloon off the ground this time. I have a Carl Fredrickson fantasy that needs fulfillment. Yep, that's an up joke. Governor Jerry Brown wrote to Google headquarters in a self-driving Toyota Prius before signing legislation Tuesday that will pave the way for driverless cars in California. According to Google, its fleet of a dozen computer-controlled vehicles has logged more than 300,000 miles of self-driving without a single accident. Autonomous cars can make roads safer, free commuters from the drudgery of driving, reduce congestion, and provide transport to people who can't drive themselves, such as the blind, disabled, and elderly, by using computers, sensors, and other technology to operate independently. A human driver can override the autopilot function and take control of the vehicle at any time. With smartphone-wielding drivers more distracted than ever, backers say robotic vehicles have the potential to significantly reduce collisions and traffic fatalities, noting that nearly all car accidents are a result of human error. So now let's leave it up to the robots to help us all crash and burn. Have you ever had trouble with part quality, resolution, and repeatability with a 3D printed prototype or design? A new Kickstarter venture called Form Labs has emerged with what they claim is the answer. After raising over $750,000 within the first two days of its 30 day campaign, Form One will be distributing a new method of low cost, high res 3D printing to the masses. Using a stereolithography or SL printer, a laser draws on the surface of a liquid plastic resin that hardens when exposed to a certain wavelength of light. The laser draws and hardens a layer at a time until the entire model is built. It's simple, reliable, and quiet. Typically, costing tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, SL printers can print layers as thin as 25 microns, but this startup is taking Kickstarter contributions as low as $2,300 for their printer. The next revolution in high-res 3D printing is here and it can fit on your desk. Georgia Tech researchers have developed two new technological tools that promise to have a significant impact on the understanding of behavioral disorders such as autism. One of the tools is a system that uses special gaze tracking glasses and facial analysis software to identify when a child makes eye contact with the glasses wearer. It was created by combining two existing technologies to develop a novel capability of automatic detection of eye contact. The other tool is a wearable system that uses accelerometers to monitor and categorize problem behaviors in children with behavioral disorders. Both technologies are being deployed in the Center for Behavior Imagining's ongoing work to apply computational methods to screening, measurement, and understanding of autism and other behavioral disorders, which is important in determining whether treatments targeting these behaviors are actually working. A team of engineers from Group T has unveiled a race car that was almost completely 3D printed, the Arion. 
On the Hockenheim race circuit, the printed car went from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 4 seconds and achieved a top speed of 141 km per hour on the track. With an electric drivetrain, biocomposite materials, and 3D printing on a grand scale, the car was printed on Materializes appropriately named Mammoth stereolithography machine. The team went from an initial shell design to a fully finished 3D printed car body in just three weeks. Pods on both sides were designed and printed with complex cooling channels. Printed into the left side pod was a nozzle behind the radiator and a diffuser, which optimized cooling by creating an ideal flow of air through the radiator. In the right side pod, complex channels were developed and printed to create a cyclone effect that removes water and dirt from the air before it enters the engine compartment. Though the car finished in 11th place, the de design techniques show great promise for lightweight vehicle design in the future. Do you have story ideas for the next episode? Comment below or email us with your story ideas and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For PD&D TV, I'm David Manti and this has been your Engineering Newswire.